I would like to introduce another Cary School senior, Porter Meekum, in his Panther Points of Pride video. Um, there's a lot of people that inspire me. Um, someone who comes to mind are both of my grandfathers. Uh, they always have something that and they say it and it's like, really, it just hits home and it's just, you know, simple wisdom, I guess. Um, Calvin, because he's taller than me. <laughs> no, uh, I, I do look up to Calvin. I look up to, um, especially all my coaches, all my coaches. Um, I, playing football with them, I've seen the kind of men they are, and I know they're of good character, and so I look up to those guys. The sports definitely engage me and inspire me, as well as the classwork, uh, different classes, like I, could, I would say math also engages and inspires me too. My favorite subject right now is calculus because it's something completely new and I've never done it before and it's, and it's pushing me to grow and learn things that I would never have thought of before. I probably, I put about an hour in at class and then maybe an hour and a half at home uh, doing homework, so two and a half hours a day. So for the first try, my schedule mostly looked like this. I'd wake up at like six and get ready for seminary. And then I'd go to seminary at 7.15. And then after seminary, I'd come to school. And then after school, I would go straight into football. And then right after football, I'd go into play and I'd get home like 8.30. And then if I had any homework, I'd do the homework then and go to bed at like 9.30, 10. Pretty busy. Yeah. My parents, both of them are teachers, and so that means that if I get in trouble in school, they find out immediately. Uh, it was even worse a couple of years ago because my grandpa also worked in the school, as well as my grandma, who's the librarian, and so it always kept my nose clean because I knew my family would find out right away. Fun, for, fun outside of school. Um, I like to go shooting, um, you know, just at targets, that kind of thing, or I play video games. Uh, I also like to hang out with my friends and go to dances or hiking, something like that. Um, I like them first to remember uh, how they felt when they were around me, and hopefully that was, you know, they felt good being around me. And then second, I hope they looked up to me as a leader and as a member of the school. Um, running for student body last year was kind of stressful. It was a very um, upbeat time for to run for student body. Everybody was really into it. And so we had lots of, you know, different things to try and get a vote. And then after I had won, um, now coming into this year, um, I have a, a council with me, so they help me plan most of the things. So I guess something in school that was always been difficult for me would be art, which is funny because my mom is the art teacher. but. Uh, I, I can draw and I can take 30 or 40 minutes on it and it'll still look like my nephew drew it. And so I have to put in lots and lots of time into art uh, to make it look good. And so that's something I've always struggled with is art. So one to two years now, from now, I plan on going on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so uh, in one to two years, I should be out in the mission field. And then five to six, hopefully I will have found a good college. And then I plan on um, getting a degree. I'm not sure what in what yet, but that's the plan. And then hopefully getting married and settling down somewhere. I think the thing I'll remember most in 10 years would probably be um, all the fun I had in football and I will have the rings to remind me as well of the last two years. I will also remember uh, the friends which I've made in Cary School and probably the wonderful teachers that I've had as well. So the last two years of football uh, ended in being the state champions. We have the two trophies right there. Um, they were definitely probably the best years of football. Like the first two years compared to the last two years, they, they don't really compare at all because the last two years we had, we were really close as a team. And so that, you know, we helped each other out and that's something I didn't really get the first two years, but in the last two years we helped each other out and that helped us, you know, rise above the competition and to be better than the rest. Going against Tri Valley as a junior, um, you looked up and everybody was like six foot three or six foot four, and they have a picture of it, you know. And you have our team, and <laughs> they're like the tallest guys on our team almost, and they're looking up like this at the other team and shaking hands at the very beginning during the coin toss. Uh, it was like a David and Goliath kind of thing, we thought, you know, because we were so small and they were so big. But um, our team, it really worked together, and that's something I don't know if they had as much of in their team, and we had a lot of heart. And so so every time we got pushed down, we'd get back up and push even harder. The, the end of the, this year's state championship game, uh, they started to come back a little bit in the last, last half, in the last quarter. And so the team was 
beginning to play a little cautiously, which if you know football, that's not very good. So you always have to be pushing forward. And so our coaches would call plays that would you know, push us into the line you know, to get a little bit of fire working back up in the team. And I think it really worked because in the end, um, we pulled it off and got that state championship. Um, educational advice I have for younger students. So you really need to set apart a time which you're going to do homework. Um, for me, before I did football and play, I would do homework as soon as I got home and then the rest of your day is clear. I noticed like when I wouldn't do it just as soon as I got home, I would procrastinate it and then maybe do it even the next day and then I'd just have more and more homework and I'd get stressed out. So you have to do your homework like as soon as you get home and then your day's free. Um, I was working out last year and I had a 25 pound weight dropped on my toe and so it hit it, split the toenail and they had to like cut it off in, in the ER. But thankfully it didn't break anything. So I guess what I'm going for is, you know, not everything makes sense. Like there wasn't really a reason why I would have to have a, a weight dropped on my toe. But um, people are resilient and you know, I'm fine now. Um, everything's back to normal. So you just give it time, be patient, and I'm sure you, know, you can get through things that you, you don't really appreciate at the time. I'm really proud of all the friends I've made and, and the accomplishments I have in football and play, um, as well as being the student body president and the student body vice president last year. Uh, these things, they stick out to me. And I'm also proud of the grades which I've had and been able to keep up and being involved in most everything that goes on in school, whether it was NHS or drama or, or football or play. Right, so last year, um, I was awarded the 182 Player of the Year for football um, after, after our championship game. And that was great. And I got to meet a lot of cool people because they wanted me they wanted to interview me for KMVT and you know different news stations, and so it was cool to you know be recognized when you know maybe you don't always feel like you're recognized. Um, and so and then this year I got the Sawtooth Conference Player of the Year uh, in football as well, and that one was kind of a surprise. I figured you know since I got something last year I probably wouldn't get something this year, and I was happy to let my teammates um, get that that glory because they definitely earned it. Um, but it was, it's definitely great to know that, you know, somebody notices your hard work and appreciates it. I would say probably the number one habit I'm going to use is be proactive because um, if you sit on your heels and you wait for life to happen to you, then you're going to get messed up. <laughs> you know, you have, to, you have to grab life by the horns and t tell it where you want to go. I am Porter Meekum. My parents are Jeff and Jennifer Meekum, and I am a senior at Cary School. Thank you, Porter. We appreciate you visiting with us, and we look forward to your bright future.